What's up crew, Chaz with Side Hustle Network here bringing you another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we were able to make over $200 net profit on one flip on a toner lot. I'm showing you in this video step by step how I sourced it all the way from the point where I picked it up. I took photos, I listed, and I shipped them, showing you every single thing you need to know. Consider this the life of a product. Absorb the information that you find in this video, go out, find some of your own toner, and go make some of your own cash. Let's dive in, show you guys what we did. Step one, you can do this on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, LetGo, whatever type of local marketplace app or website that you wanna use. Type in toner, you're gonna to see all the different toners pop up and until you get to know the different models of each one, you literally just have to go through and cross check which model this is versus the eBay comps and also look at the pricing that they're asking. Again, just like in previous videos, I've said, you never actually want to pay what they're asking. If you can throw in an offer like $20, $25, maybe $50, $60 if they'll take it. Throw out some offers, it's all a numbers game. You have to throw out a ton of offers to get some of these deals, but sometimes they're actually worth it. So that's step one is just search toner, start finding ones that you have some margin in, see how low you can get those prices for you to actually buy them. Step two, once you find one, I just found this one, I'm gonna go pick this up, Xerox, is an awesome brand and I love selling these ones. They're usually high ticket. You can see right here, this is four unopened printer cartridges, one of each color, $100 each. They originally paid 250 each, so that's a $400 listing right there. I threw out an offer and I said, if no other offers come in, I can do $200. She said, no problem, I'll, I'll keep you posted. It took about a week, week and a half, and she finally messaged back and said, hey, they're still available if you wanna do $200, and I'm gonna be down in that area anyways, so I'm just gonna swing by and pick these up. So with that being said, it's time to hit the road, go pick these up, and I'll show you guys exactly how to list them, how to ship them, the whole nine yards. I just got here, so number one tip with any type of local dealing, whether you're dealing with Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, etc., always, always, always meet in a public place, preferably somewhere like a public parking lot that has security cameras. But in this case, this was actually a business that was getting rid of these toners, so I had no problem showing up to their actual business location. But if you are buying and selling stuff, please be safe, use precautions. Bonus tip, business Business offices like the one I just did this pickup from oftentimes order too much toner or they just have other business equipment electronics that they want to get rid of these businesses can literally just write them off on their taxes as a deduction so they don't mind getting rid of it for cheap every time I've ever picked up toner from an office I always ask them do you have anything else around here that you guys are looking to sell and I have scored some really good deals doing that now I'm gonna hop in here, grab these toners, and get back on the road. Picked up the units. We have the four toner cartridges here. As you guys can see, this is a whole set. So we have the black, magenta, yellow, and cyan. This bottom one is a transfer unit. Um, they said this one was opened up, but it was never actually installed. These ones are all factory sealed here. Got to take these back to the office and show you guys the process of actually taking photos, creating the listing, and then once they sell, show you how to ship them. Now driving, doing pickups anyways, just search for a couple thrift stores around your area. Might as well maximize how much profit you can make in the same amount of drive time. This alone just made it worth the trip. So we've got $6.99 Netgear. I'll flash it on the screen right here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. But this obviously is new package has been busted open there but this can resell at least 50 if not 100 based on a new condition so this is a vsc variable speech control by panasonic eight bucks should be able to resell this whole set for about 50. and always check handheld games some of them do really well five bucks sells for about 15. not a huge profit but still money all right, so just got those three items is all but really sweet items to pick up. I was in there for about 20 minutes and that's why I recommend that you guys, if you're gonna go do a Facebook marketplace, pick up Craigslist, local deals, go out into a few thrift stores around the area anyways, maximize your time. But you guys are here to see the toner. So let's get back to the office, get these things photoed and listed. The process of photos is extremely simple for toners, especially when they are factory sealed. Um, in this case, I'm gonna sell these all together as a four pack. 
if I was going to be doing individuals, obviously I would do them individually for different listings, but it's going to be one listing, one set of photos, and because they're factory sealed, it's super easy. So I'm going to do this as my main photo showing all four of them, which has all the info that they need. It's magenta, it shows which uh, phaser model it is. And then on my next photo, I would literally just turn these around and just take a shot of each side so they know which stickers it comes with. It has the packing slip plastic still on it. The cool part with toner buyers, a lot of people don't care about that stuff. So I personally don't take um, as much time as I used to to take all these little stickers off. Just leave everything on as is and just make sure it's in the photos. And the last piece of this one was that drum transfer unit. And as you guys can see, like they said, this was never installed. So I went, I opened this up, checked it out, good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a main photo just like this. So it's not just a picture of a empty brown box. Well, as the photo process is, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these, put them up on my shelves in the back there and I'm going to create the listing which I'll show you guys on the next step. All right, so now for the listing phase, what I do is I go through and of course I check my research on the sold comps. We have one that sold for $5.95 plus $60 shipping for a set of four, which is what we have. This is not including the drum uh, transfer unit that we're going to be listing separately. We've got a $5.25 plus $45 shipping. They took a best offer on two units there, $6.25. This guy just sold out way too low. Same thing with this one. Uh, this was only a three pack though. We have four, so I'm gonna price about five. I'm good with 500. I spent 200, so I'm gonna price at 500 and potentially quick flip these. But then what I do is I will hit sell one like this, which will bring over most of the information that I need, the category, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm just gonna do a simple title which shows everything that's in there you can just bypass all this for now i actually have my photos on my phone so i'm going to go through and upload the photos from my phone and complete this draft xerox make sure that your model numbers are in there correctly i just re basically repost what i put in the title here from there on my pricing i'm good with coming in at just do like 525 just in case somebody buys it pretty quick. I actually have a few businesses that follow this eBay store and they buy a lot of the toner that we post. So 525, see if we can get some watchers at least and then I can send out an offer uh, from there. So make sure my let offer, offer is on there. I always do free shipping and I usually do FedEx Smart Post for this stuff as a cushion because that's going to allow me the most amount of business days. If I, it's going to be someone that buys it close within a few states, I can actually go priority and get pretty decent shipping too. Sell internationally, but like I said, it's usually a lot of local businesses that will buy some of this stuff. I save as draft and then from there I go through my phone, my eBay app, and I will actually go and upload and complete the draft from there. I'm gonna repeat the process for this transfer unit that we got. She actually threw this in for free. I paid 200 bucks for the other toners. This was literally free money, sold for 228, so I'm gonna get that posted right now. I literally listed this 30 seconds ago, 525 like you guys saw, I got an immediate offer at 300 because this one store, which I can't show their store name, this one store follows us, so they always, over in New Jersey, they always buy from us. I'm not going to do 300 obviously. I'm going to counter at 500 just to show them like I'm going to request that price. Um, rock bottom, I might go like 475 but when you get an offer that quick on a listing, usually means that it's a pretty good price point. So just put in that $500 counter, review, submit. We'll see what they come back with. And just like that, I had two more offers come in for 450 and I knew my pricing was solid. Just sold for 500 bucks. I listed at 525 and somebody took my $500 offer. Done, done, and done, just like that. So I'm going to now show you guys exactly how I'm gonna ship these. Total listed time was about an hour from the time I made this active. So that shows you guys why I love toner because if you price competitively with a good picture, your keywords, um, especially when you bundle them together. I was one of the only four packs um, for that. So that's a little bonus tip there is try to do bundles or lots if you can, because a lot of people don't do that. And you can sell this stuff pretty darn quick, which is why I love toner. All right, so we've got the toner. See if I do this one handed. Toner, sold. Show you guys how I'm gonna box this up. So because toner is already packaged inside of these boxes, it's not just loosely going around. You don't need to worry about bubble wrap and all this stuff. I just need to find a box that's gonna fit these four. Luckily, we have a huge box pile. Between doing online arbitrage um, and purchasing boxes from Lowe's, we usually have a huge stockpile over here. So I just gotta find the right size box that's gonna fit those four. All right, so this Lowe's medium 
fits perfectly. And I'll show you guys how I'm gonna cut this down too. So what I'm gonna do is take these. Luckily there's not a lot of extra wiggle room inside of this. And just to prevent the extra moving around in there, there's that gap. So I'm just gonna take some of this um, craft paper or constructor's paper. You can also use air bubbles. Now we still have a lot of space on the top part here. So if I just box these up like that, I would have to put a lot of extra paper and stuff in there to prevent the moving around. And I might be able to save more on shipping just by cutting those dimensions down a bit. So what I'm going to do, you can use scissors of an actual box cutter, or you can use what's called Scotty Peeler here. I'm just gonna go around the edge and just make a slight indent. That way I'm gonna be able to fold these all the way over. Now we have the final product here. If you are really concerned about the Lowe's branding stuff, you could open up the box and flip it inside out so it's just pure brown cardboard. I've shipped this way for a couple of years now. I have never once had a complaint about the actual box. Next step, simply toss this on my scale. I'm gonna grab my weight and my dimensions and put it into eBay and it's gonna give me some pricing options. All right, so I input my dimensions, 13 pounds, four ounces. Box is about 18 by 19 by 12. So FedEx ground is gonna give me $28 for shipping. FedEx smart post is 40. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see what USPS priority would be. So here you can see USPS priority mail would be $62. This is why I always input with FedEx. Now keep in mind with eBay and FedEx, you are not going to have this deducted out of your PayPal right away the same way that USPS would deduct. This is gonna be tagged onto your actual bill that you get from eBay each month. So that's just a little side tip to keep in mind. So for this purchase, FedEx Ground is what I put on the listing. So I'm gonna do 2849, purchase label. From there, the label page comes up. Make sure it's on my printer, hit print. Label pops out from our Rolo printer here goes on the box and it's ready to be dropped off. And that's it, my friends. That showed you exactly step-by-step step how I sourced the toner. I showed you exactly what I did for photos, the listing process, and the shipping. My original buy cost for those four was $200. Subtract my fees, which is 10% for eBay, about 3% for PayPal, so 13% total. Minus my cost of goods of $200, minus the shipping cost, which is $28.49. That leaves me with about a $206 net profit. Not every single toner buy that I do is that quick of a flip or that high of a profit amount. That just shows you one example that I stumbled upon on Facebook Marketplace. You can search for this type of stuff on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, LetGo, all kinds of different local marketplace apps. But with that being said, if you are curious about toner, hopefully that helped clear up some of the process. This is just one way I do it. I'm only one person, one method of running a business. There's so many different ways to source and list and ship this stuff as well. So if you have any of your own tips and tricks, feel free to comment below. Share the knowledge with everybody here in the audience. This has been Chaz with Side Hustle Network. I'll see you guys for the next step-by-step -step tutorial on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Hit the thumbs up button if this video helped you out. We'll see you on the next one.